Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play, or rather a continuation of a Let's Play series. This is Streets of Rage 2, and this is the Streets of Rage game that I grew up with uh, the most, the longest, even. We have a bevy of things that we can do, but I'm going to set my lives easy. And, uh, or lives easy, my level easy, my lives to five, although that don't matter. So... <clears throat> Instead of just playing the base goal version of the game, I decided to do a little bit of a restoration thing uh, with a hack that I'm using off of uh, romhacking.net. It is simply called Streets of the Rage Restoration. Uh, and here's what it does. It restores Blaze's original flying kick sprite from the Japanese version, for those perverts out there. It restores Mr. X's cigar from the Japanese version, which <laughs> is such a silly thing to remove. Restores the number of enemy knockout status bar on the pause screen from the Japanese version, pressing A to see it. It changes the names of Galcia, Galuda, and Mosquito to Garcia, Garuda, and Mosquito. See, Sega had mistranslated those uh, in all versions of the game. It changes the music on the pirate ship level, which is... Don't remember that one too well. I remember what comes after the pirate ship level. Good lord, that one's just embracing on my brain. Changes the words players, round, and RD to lives, stage, and stig. Uh, included. There's a weird included. I don't think this one I have included on this. But it has it so as Skate's name is Sammy. Which, alright. But anyways, uh, much like the previous game, I am going to be playing this with a infinite lives cheat because despite the game being more more close to what I remember as a kid I still suck at it and as you might have read it there is a change in characters instead of Adam we have two new characters we have Adam's uh, younger brother Skate who is very much a speedy little guy uh, really speedy. Like, I don't remember being able to control him too well. We still have Blaze. Uh, not gonna play as her. We have Axel, which, funny enough, Axel was kind of very much that medium man for the previous game. Now that's put to Blaze, who, instead of having, you know, amazing stats in one thing, is just kind of right down the middle. And then, Axel's friend, Max. High power, high stamina, shitty speed and jump, but a great stamina. We're playing as Max. Oh yeah, this is the music I remember well. I'm just kind of hoping that the, uh... I'm just suddenly realizing because of the whole restoration thing, maybe the, um... Game Gene code probably might not work that well. God, look at this guy. So biffy. Bonk. And again, this game works much like the previous one, in that if you get up and close and personal with a dude, you can sometimes grab them. It feels a little bit less likely to happen in this game. Like, mostly it's just punches and kicks and whatnot. Get over here, Donovan. But because they decide to use bigger sprites, it's easier to tell, you know, finer details about the characters and whatnot. And in addition, each of the characters have names uh, set underneath the character you are playing as. Also, I get annoyed. Still get annoyed. Get over here. And this time, instead of having. Uh, specials working the way that they do in the previous game. The specials are used by pressing the A button. But instead now, they take a, just a little bit of your health. Instead of being quite essentially having an item de uh, dedicated to them. Hey, life up. Get knocked out. Get knocked out. Get 
Get over here. Get over here and get knocked out. Unlike the previous game, I seem to recall that you are able to hit enemies that are off screen. Something that they... I believe that they fixed from the previous one. Bonk. Oh man, that pipe. Suplex! And if I'm good enough at this, I can basically make it so as Jack never gets to throw a single knife. Eh. Jack the knife. I didn't get to get a chicken. Break shit. Get points. I started using more shit for the foreground, which can make some of the fights a little bit more agitating, I won't lie. Gotta love this guy. He gets to throw around everyone. Yeah, get to actually punch people off screen. Give me more money. Just squeeze them until they die. Hello again, Donovan. Yeah, these guys are named Garcia. Or Galcia. I don't know. Silly mistranslation shit. Yeah, what a nice little nightclub. Barkeep! Give me a Shirley Temple. Wait, hello. Oh god, the whippers are back. She's got hit points and charisma to lend. So, enemies that have more hit points than what is the, uh, than what is shown on the bar, they will have a star over their character's life points. Uh, of course, they will still hide off screen. So, uh, get used to that. There we go. More terrifying woman scream in this game, though. Oh, I'm sure this is a cozy alley. We're gonna have to fight the barkeep. Goddamn. Marvin. Look at this man. He's briefer. Nearly as big oh. Ow. Hey, chicken. Ugh. Nearly as beefy as Max. You don't stand a chance, though. Hey, got another life up. Max lives in this are still only nine, though. I want to point out really quickly, too, some of the, uh... Some of the game gene codes for this game are a little funky. And like, they're super specific and some of them are purely for detrimental purposes too. Like, characters start with a specific amount of lives. Including one. Ah, uh, poor Z. God, I remember Max being slow, but not this slow. Holy shit. And yes, you did not... Your eyes did not deceive you. There was a dude on a motorcycle. Now there's multiples. Like there's a gang or something. I tend to try to just avoid them because um, I don't want to get run over. I love that... Okay. I love that the pipe ends up being so useful that it also hits dudes in the back of you. Rude. It's a good thing that dudes can't handle taking multiple shots to the face while on their motorcycles. 
That has sucked. Oh yeah, and they got grenades new. Money bags are worth 1,000 points. While uh, gold bars are worth 5k. Which is good, because you're gonna need those extra lives if you weren't playing with infinite lives. I love how you can just kind of casually walk through this part. Get away. Blade. Ah, damn it. I wanted that money. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, you. Akio. I love how, if you're fast enough, you can legitimately just absolutely destroy anything. Including the bosses. Take that, Frost. Oh yeah, I need to do that Haymaker at some point too. Sorry, I had a call. Let's see, was it... Right. Different specials from different combinations of buttons. So if you just hold still and press A, you will do the haymaker. Take that, Joseph. If you press forward, charge. Which can lead to some devastating combos. Was there one for up? Nah, up was just a haymaker as well. Whoa! Or Surger. Ooh, money. Chicken. Ah, oh, that's right. This game introduces my most hated of enemies. This jerk. Jet. I feel like I can only express my hatred through, uh, punching him. Oh, really? Ugh. Where are you coming from, Jet? There you are. You'll be at just the right angle. It'll be a giant pain in the ass. Basically all the time, every time. I think I'll get another laugh up from this. Forget what the points of getting lives in this game is. Hey look! It did New World! Ah uh, man, that Garcia was just chilling on the bench like, huh? Ah shit, the wrestler's here. Same thing with this Donovan, it's just like, oh man. I didn't want to have to fight anyone today. Just wanted to lounge around. Enjoy my time at the at the theme park. And then Max just comes around with a goddamn knife and stabs everyone. There you go. And now to enjoy my time in the in this place. Hey look, it's bare knuckle. I wanna play. I'll play some bare knuckle. Oh wait, I already did that. Taking my money. All those quarters. Ooh. That one was loaded with dough. Had actual gold bars in it. Oh god. What? That's pretty astounding, I won't lie. Fun fact, by the way. As a kid, I always thought that these individuals that were dressed in these uh, jackets with the mohawks, I always thought they were, they were women. I think it was because when they threw you, they had that, you know, yeah, really high-pitched sounding voice. But... 
to this day now, I've learned that red signals, yellow signals, and Mavin are dudes, apparently. I don't know. Hey, you light up. I thought I needed it. Oh, hello. The way he fell down at me, I thought that Garcia was a, uh... Ah. Oh, God. Suzaku. Thought that Garcia was a ninja. Which, by the way, the first game was made in 91. This game, I think, a year after? Oh, that was not where I went to go. There we go. You know, I don't recall what the previous theme of the pirate ship sounded like. That's a ninja. Ninjas versus pirates. Where it truly began. Streets of Rage 2. Well, we're done with pirate ship. Wonder what other fun rides we got going on here. Hello again, Donovan. Oh, she is done again. I just crushed that guy's melon. All right, this area. I'm sorry. Is your name Bino? Sir, you have an unfortunate name. Bino. Either your friends gave you this nickname and they hate you, or your parents did. If it's the latter, I'm sorry. If it's the prior, you need better friends. But yeah, this stage, right here, is what is solidified in my brain. Freaking aliens, Geiger shit. Dudes coming out of the mu Dudes coming out of the mist. First instances I think I've ever really seen of a Katana. In like, any video game. Not so much in... Not so much in movies though. I think when it comes to movies, the first time I saw a Katana was Three Ninjas. Which is funny, considering it's been around. Oh boy, ain't that a terrifying noise. And yes, those explosions will hurt you. Come on, get up. Surely nothing terrible is gonna happen here. Not with a giant, weird-looking face in the background. Got this boss. The Helots, I think it's called. Just give him a couple of slaps. Oh, come on. He was on the plane to hit me, but I was on the plane to hit him. Is my sword still here? This is why I jump. Not pretty much any of my enemies. Whew. Ah, good. Ninjas. Of point. Also, apparently, uh, that thing does not work. Ooh. Oh, good. The next boss. I love that you're able to just stumble into the next boss with your enemy still on screen. I'm actually grateful that I'm able to do that. Come on. How did that not hit you? Mm. 
This is gonna be a problem. Because he's the one of those enemies that will move to separate planes, knowing full well that you can't hit him as long as he's moving, basically. Ah, god damn it. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, I'm doing pretty good for lives, but the second I start losing continues, that's going to be the bad times. So, uh, give me a second, folks, while I fix that. Hopefully that fixed that. Because again, the, the code is changed, so I, I see it being able to, you know... Oh god. My pipe! It's like boo Do baseball! You guys gotta love freaking weird translations when it comes to old video games. I love how by, by, uh, by the by that we're still, you know, coming out of the, um, oh, come on. That we're coming out of the theme park that we were just in. Like, I don't know. Definitely makes a little bit more sense so far than just, we're in a factory now. Hello, not Donovan. Ow. You just have doken me. Koshu. That's what you get. But now let us go and do baseball. I swear this makes sense that we're at the baseball field. God yes. Love myself a good clove hanger. Clothes hanger, clothes hanger, however the hell you want to say it. No! And then blue signal just throws me across the screen. <laughs> nope. My pipe. I said my pipe. I said my pipe. Please have some health. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I like money, if only because it'll give me more lives. In case, you know, that code does go tits up. Bonk. God, I love freaking pipe in this. Why, hello, Metal M. The M means mistress, don't it? Probably. Man, I was so innocent as a goddamn kid. There's so many things that went right over my head. I mean, good reason I was a kid, but damn. Again, wasn't my genesis, it was my eldest brother's. Ah, yes. Big Ben. The habitual large character. Oh, God. Who will just slap me silly for absurd damage. Generally speaking, it feels like I just need to back up and wait for him to try to get up. Elevator time. See, it makes sense. The secret base is underneath the baseball field. Sirs, that's rude. Yak I think I said his name right. I'd like one of these guys to drop some health, but I know that's not gonna happen. Ouch. 
Okay, it does work. Thank crap it. I would say that of the bosses between Breath of uh, I was about to say Breath of Fire. Completely different companies. <clears throat> but uh of the bosses between Streets of Rage 1 and 2, a lot of the bosses in 2 just seem a lot less bullshit. Sure, they're still difficult, and they will still, you know, drain you of a couple of quarters worth of lives in, you know, arcade speak. But you can know, they're relatively still fair, you know? At least from what I recollect. Jet's annoying, but that's mostly his shtick, he's annoying. Uh... Bouncer slash bartender dude wasn't that bad. Hey, hello once again. Oh god! Hello, Abadini. Oh. Yes, this guy has three whole has health bars, by the way. I'm pretty much going to abuse uh, my special, I think, at this point. Just hit me with a wrench. Oh, I just realized that when they do their flying attacks, that this guy and Big Ben, when they do their flying attacks, when Max does his charge, yeah, it doesn't work too well. By that, I mean my charge doesn't work that well. Oh god. Girl. Don't mess with Max. In general, I think that guy no-sells a bunch of attacks more, especially when he does his flying move. But otherwise, it's not that bad. Whoa. I swear, dudes with knives in this are worse. Oh god. Hello, heart. You, sir, are already a nuisance to me. At least you're not charging at me and breathing fire at the same time. God, I hate that guy. Squish you like melon. Ooh, more money. Gram? Go dead. We're just waiting for all the enemies to start coming out. Gacho again. God damn, this game is so satisfying to play. Ah. Dude named Raven. He, he didn't even get a single attack in. That's... Poor Raven. Oh, hello. Wayne. Oh! Cease that. Oh, God! There we go. God, Wayne. Wait, Wayne's got some muscle on him! By the way, it seems... Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Alright, so the second you get up in Wayne's face, he just decides, eh, you know what? Over you go. There we go. I think between... Yeah, okay. Between screens, the game will give you a little bit of HP back. This is so as you can I'll always do at least one special when you come to a new screen, I think. Oh, come on, that kick is ridiculous. Oh, 
I think multiple dudes on screen while fighting jets are the worst. I don't know why I bothered picking that up. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Take my katana. Stop trying to dodge me, fog. And gale. Are we only gonna do two and then go away? Yeah, I think that that's their shtick in this area. Ow. I tried to charge them that time too. Oh, come on. You gotta love how everyone can throw you in this game. Give me a sword. Nope. I see you, Garcia. I wonder how much faster this game would be if I had decided to go with any of the other characters. Eh, oh well. I like Max too much. Forget what boss this was. Oh, right! Not Bald Bull. Does your boxing... Cont oh god. It contends with the katana. Oh god. Come on. Stop duking me. You will get this katana to your face. <laughs> this was definitely during that time in the 90s when everyone thought the katana was the shit simply because, you know, a lot of Asian culture was starting to come over to the States a lot more rapidly. They saw the katana was, you know, samurai culture and all that fun shit. Same with ninjas. Ninjas and samurai. Did I say that that whole sort of culture is still around it to this day? Wow. I love when a ninja no sells a wrestler. Now I'm just remembering all the times in the 90s when people were like, Yeah, ninjas are badass and they would take out anyone. That's a conversation. Thanks, Naruto, for shaping weird friendships that I had in, as a teenager. Oh, hey! This is Mutai, guys. Mutai? I think that's it. I seem to recall these guys being a lot more of a pain in the ass than they're currently, than they're currently providing me. I don't remember this game being as long as it is. Well, at least I have chicken. Whoa! Eh. God damn. <clears throat> Seriously, the fact that I get suplexed by freaking signals so easily. Just makes me kind of miss the additional charm that the first game had of uh, trying to throw the other, the one of the bigger characters only to get flattened by him. <coughs> hmm. Gourmand. Oh god. I forgot. Don't charge the bastard when he's flying at you. 
game has a thing for just no selling your best hits. Ah, you jerks again. Thankfully, if I just keep on walking, they're just gonna keep going. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. Forgot about the lightning. I was not trying to spam attack this special, but it happened anyways. Uh. Ma'am. Okay, if all you fogs could just line up in a row so I can punch you. Thanks. Please have chicken. That's not chicken. I don't remember what this boss was. I'm gonna hate fighting against freaking beast man. Or chicken. Ah, god damn it. Oh, it's beast man and Jet? Is that your name? Ah. Oh. Stealth. Sure, okay. That's the first thing I think of when uh, a character with a freaking jetpack comes onto the screen. Stealth. I, I'd almost say that that name better suits Souther. The hell is a name like Souther? This is a weird fight. Well, at least I only need to slay the Souther. Ah, on to stage seven. Ah, yes, yet another one of these factory stages. So, went from the mean streets of uh, wherever we were to a baseball, well, through a theme park to a baseball field which we had to get to the oh, we had to go through the baseball bleh, theme park to get to the baseball field which had a secret underground lair which led to a fighting ring which led to the beach which now leads us to uh, a ship where we had fought our way through, and now we are on our way through a factory. Presumably to stop the drugs and the criming. I'm assuming. Rude. Oh wow, those guys are just continuously throwing those, huh? times so have I died so far? I think the most I've died against was Souther. Enola. <clears throat> this is definitely a lot better so far than the factory level from the first game. If only because we don't have the crushers. Oh, these guys are especially annoying. They try to run around you. I'm like a dog from freaking Elden Ring. Elevator time! How are you so strong? Oh well. I'll take this chicken. I probably should have waited taking the chicken. Take that, Joseph. Griffiths? Was Griffin not good enough of a name for you? I think that might be the first time I've seen one of those die on screen. 
since I had first played this way back when as a kid. Sorry, Sparrow. Oh god, he actually managed to hit me. I love how I keep dying to the enemies that provide slapping sound effects. Just, there's something a little bit, bit additionally funny about that. Oh god. Not Jack the Knife is here. So yeah! Pile driver! Rude. That was a weird sound. That weird beeping. Uh. Okay, I was about to say, is Soya still here? Hatred. I need to get him to the other side of the screen so I can hit him. Because it seems like when they get up, they're always just a little bit invulnerable for a long period of time. There we go. To the other side of the screen with you. I will say, there is a detriment to having so many weapons on screen. That being, if you try to, you know, just mash the attack button, you'll only pick up the weapons. Beep. Oh, that's probably them going 21st floor, menswear. Alright. These guys. Oh, there's something about that freaking frying pan sound. Oh god. I didn't mean to spam that. My controller's starting to bust down on me. God, though. Imagine that, though. Freaking mess, uh, Mr. Rex just getting a couple of freaking robots. What do you think he's going to have in his actual tower? Also, I think you could have died to that explosion. Don't quote me on that. One last level. And, uh, I seem to recall it being a bit of a doozy. Yes, because Mr. Robot Dudes are here, and as is some of the old classic bosses. God, I love that they decide to reply, or yeah, have the title theme here. Come on, Mr. Bear. Don't want to break Mr. Rex's precious stuff, do you? Sorry, right, Donovan. I don't have time for you. Woo! Dude named Volta. Clearly, he was waiting for me to die, like a vulture. Ow. There we go. Oh boy. I did get a little bit of HP back from that fight. It seems like the thing to do against these 
dudes are to just charge them when they're blocking. Ow. Because that goes right through them. I don't think I'm meant to get off of these separate floors. Why do you have a wrench? Oh, hi, Mr. X. You, you quite literally have the elevator going to right to you this time, huh? No, no, that's fine. It's understandable. Expediency when it comes to putting down the trash and blah, blah, blah. Hello, Shiva. How's it going? Oh, God. He grabbed me out of my charge. Yeah, I think this... Okay. Yeah, this guy's got some sort of an upper hand. Clearly, he hired a ninja. Yeah, he did have his cigar in the American version. Which is funny. Whenever I see a... A game do something like that. Oh no, the villain is doing something that's bad for his health. Pick that, Shiva. He's got a gun. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that once again his power is gun. And yes, he does shoot his own buddies. I would love to suplex him at least once. Not sure that's going to help. Ah! He broke my combo with his gun. Ah! Oh god. Yeah, dude just no-sells most of my attacks. I'm just gonna, yeah. Woo! Broke 600,000. And of course, I'm gonna put in my name. At least my nickname. Ah. And that was Streets of Rage 2 for the Sega Genesis. God, the music is still so good. Yeah, look! There's Adam. He would have been nice to have during this game. <laughs> but yeah, this was... This was fun to do again. I don't think I've actually beaten Streets of Rage ever since... I don't know. Before it was 20. It's been a while. Fun as hell game. Great music, wonderful environments, sprite work is superb. I don't doubt that this entire soundtrack is going to get uh, copyright claimed though, because uh, Yuzo is still doing shit. But you know what? I almost don't mind. Almost don't mind. Because <laughs> it is part of the game. But yeah, this was a great game. Still as great as I remember as a kid. I think I... I almost want to say that I could have beaten it on easy mode without having to worry about infinite lives. I just didn't want to. It, it's the worry, you know? I've, I've played so many games as a kid 
where pretty much I just get near the end and then it's the final boss and then they just absolutely destroy you. Would not have been able to do that with Streets of Rage 1. Maybe might have been able to do it with Streets of Rage 2 here. But it is just that obscene level of difficulty that they expect you to basically spend not just a weekend, but like an entire goddamn week getting damn good at the game. <clears throat> which, work, which works out so well when you consider the fact that they, um, that this was also the time during the rentals. <laughs> Which was always fun, having to worry about whether or not your saves, uh, your save is going to be there when you go to rent the game again. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, that was Streets of Rage 2. And we're going to continue the shenaniganry with Streets of Rage 3. I won't lie, I don't remember a lot of about Streets of Rage 3. I think one of the characters was a little bit out there, but that's about all I can recall. Yeah. This was great. I hope Streets of Rage 3 lives up to it. Maybe. Eh. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, uh, if you guys like this series, like, to, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff helps out the channel immensely. If you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, I have links down in the description below for my coffee, my stream elements, and my... What's the other one? Patron. You can also go through YouTube Super Chat and uh, go through there. Every little bit helps. Keeps a uh, roof over my head, food in my belly, and will eventually help me make my PC a beast. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. Hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.